Hey guys, uh, it's Christy here with Make Everyday Colorful. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Make Everyday Colorful. And just look me up on Facebook, Instagram. I'm on there too. So anyway, what I'm doing today is my daughter has had a cough for like two days or so. And it was like really bad the other night. So, um, I tried this out yesterday and she actually likes it. And it seems to be helping with the cough. I gave it to her yesterday and then like in the middle of the day and then I gave it to her before she went to bed. And then again this morning and I'm giving her, she just drank the last of the first batch I made. And she's about to go to bed. So anyway, <clears throat> what it is, it's supposed to help with the coughing. It's literally two very ripe bananas. I cut them up. I'm about to mash them. And you take 400 milliliters of water and you boil it. And then you put the mashed bananas, once it's done boiling, you put it in there. And you just turn it off. And you let it seep in that really hot water for about 30 minutes until it cools. you got to make sure it's cool enough or like at room temperature because that's when you add the two tablespoons of honey. So you need 400 milliliters of water, two really ripe bananas, and two tablespoons of honey. And mix it up and then they just drink it like that. Mine was kind of, um, it was actually even kind of lumpy, the other one. And I'm going to show you how this one turns out at the end. And she still drank it, so I'll show you once we get to the next step. Uh, but I guess I could show you just me mashing it. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. Just ignore the rest of my messy kitchen because, I mean, it's night and we had supper and everything else. So, yeah, just basically just mash the bananas until they're mush. But, uh, like I said, I'll come back when I'm ready to put it in the water and show you how that looks. Okay, so as you can see now, my water is uh, boiling, so I'm going to turn it off. And I always take all my knobs out because I don't want my kids to turn on my stove somehow. Just my extra precautions. Um, I mashed the bananas as much as I could. You could actually put this, like if you had like a mini food processor, blender, you could even do it in there, I guess. But, um, well, I don't know. Cause now I'm, I'm taking that back because I remember one of the articles I read that did this. They only use wooden spoon. I don't know why it really matters if you use metal. Because to me... You're putting it in a metal pot. Um, but anyway, I think that is one way you could do it. I don't know if it being in a metal really affects it that much. It was saying something about making the banana discolor, but I don't really care what color my banana looks like. So anyway, um, I mashed it up as best I could. So now I'm just going to um, pour it in there. So you just pour it all in there. And, uh, kind of hard to do this with one hand so I'm just gonna for the sake of the video just get what I can out and like literally I just stir it in there and that's about it I just let it sit for the next 30 minutes until it gets cool and once it's cool I'll be back to add the honey to it um but as you can see I mean that's pretty much like the consistency almost it's kind of just lumpy and um at first, I didn't think she would drink it, and I don't think she liked it at room temperature. I put it in the refrigerator, and she was much more happy about taking it today than she was um, the first batch I made yesterday. She wasn't, she was, I don't know if she just wasn't sure about it because of the texture. So that might be the hardest thing if you have a kid that doesn't really like the texture. That's why I was saying maybe puree the bananas, um, and then that way it'd just be like a smoothie almost. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, um, so I'm just going to let this cool. And once it's cool, add the honey, and then it'll be good to drink. And I'll just put it in the refrigerator because she's already had hers for tonight. So it's going to be tomorrow before she drinks any. But last night, she didn't cough at all, all night. And the night before and early yesterday morning, I was up with her at 4.45 yesterday morning because she was just coughing so much. So I made this like midday yesterday and gave it to her two times before she went to bed last night. And she didn't cough really at all last night, like barely at all. So I think it really did help, and she's been pretty much good the whole day. She's barely coughed today, and it was pretty bad yesterday prior to doing this. Okay, so I let it cool, and now I'm just adding my honey. It's supposed to be uh, two tablespoons of honey. Put this right there. So it's one. Two. 
This is actually a little bit bigger than a tablespoon, so that's why I didn't fill it up. And that's it. And you just stir it, and that is it. And you just serve it, and it says to take 100 milliliters at a time. So this should be enough for like four or so servings. And that's all you do. Um, and I'll probably just shoot a little bit of my video of my daughter drinking in the morning, but um, she's sleeping now, so just stir it and serve. So Isabella, this is um, my daughter. She's drinking her banana concoction is what I call it. No, it's the banana and honey, uh, basically like almost like a tea. It's for coughing and bronchitis and different things like that. And it seems to be working pretty well. Like I said, it's just like a, it has kind of a consistency or a texture to it. And we had it in the icebox last night. So if your kid has a thing with textures, you might would want to blend it up better. I haven't seen what they said that you can strain it if you want, but um, we just give it to her like that and she drinks it. So it's not a problem for us. And she did not really cough last night. I think I heard her coughing like one time and that was it. So that's it.